It's Father's Day today. This is a great day. And this week I was thinking uh, historically of the role that fathers have played in the home and in the church and in Israel and the value of a father. Uh, one of the things is when we think of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Bible calls them the fathers, uh, such as maybe the founding fathers, the fathers of covenant. And out of them came the nation of Israel. There were other nations too that came out of Abraham, but the nation of Israel, particularly in our Bibles, they were referred to over and over and over because of a covenant that they made and they kept with God. And Israel lived by that covenant. And so when we get to the New Testament, we look in the book of Romans chapter 11, it says that they are beloved because of the Father, speaking of Israel. And therefore they have an opportunity for Christ to turn back to them in the future. Now imagine that. What the fathers did in 4000 BC, 4000 years later, Israel is still in good graces with God and has a future. Even though they have rejected Jesus Christ, they still have a future because of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the fathers. And the point that I'm making is that you as a father, you have the ability to affect the destination, the direction, and what your lineage your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren, if God is to tarry, by the kind of life you live for God, it will determine much on how the family tree is going to look 30, 40, 75, 100 years later. Fathers, you have a very important role. It shouldn't pressure you or stress you, but it should help you understand that God created you in a wonderful way with a wonderful office, and he's working with you. I thank you for the many support all the fathers in this church have given me, given this church, being faithful to the house of God, bringing your families, tithing, giving offerings, supporting, working, so many different areas. I hope you have a blessed day. You're important, Father. Don't let anyone ever tell you different. May God bless you.